Now let's have a look at the large and small formulas and here you can see we have a list of names and then we have a list of numbers next to that as well. So in this block I'm going to pop in large and I'm going to say large, whoa, large again, small over here and small over here as well. So what we're going to be doing is popping in a formula that's going to give us the largest number in this range and maybe the third largest number in the range and then also the smallest number in the range and the third smallest number in the range because if they ask you for anything else it works on the same principle so what are we going to do i'm going to go equals large open my bracket now what range do i want excel to use this function in this range over here and then i'm going to put in my comma or semicolon and what am i going to do which one do i want well i want number one in other words the largest number in that range and there you can see that's 96. i'm going to use insert function for the next just so you can see the difference formulas insert function and i'm going to go again me and this large <laughs> large and do you see the same comes up right so now i'm going to put in my range and then over here, I'm going to say I want the third largest number. It gives me my answer. I click OK. And there we go. So let's do the same for the small function. If I go equal small, where do I want to apply that function or use it on that particular range? Pop in my comma or my semicolon. And for number one, it's going to give me the number one smallest number or the smallest number in that range then i'm just going to use insert function to show you doesn't matter which way you do it small and then again let me just move this my range that i'm going to use this function in and then i want the third smallest number click ok and there we go guys using the large and small function